Hey everyone, Professor Baldwin here. Today we're going to look at an example that requires us to use our rules for exponents and our rules for radical expressions. Here we're asked to use positive rational exponents to simplify the expression and assume that all variables are positive. Now a positive rational exponent just means we want to get rid of the radical form and have an exponent that's a fraction. That's a rational exponent. So first we want to rewrite each of these radical expressions as exponents. Now remember when you have a radical, so we have the square root of x or the nth root of x, n is our index, this is rewritten in exponent form as 1 over n. It's always the radicand to the power of 1 over n, the index of that radical. So our first, the square root of y cubed, would be y cubed. And then our exponent, remember that the index for square root is a 2, so that's to the power of 1 half. And then the second rational or radical expression is y squared to the power of 1 over the index. It's a cube root here, so the index is a 3, so the exponent is 1 third. Now we're going to use the power to a power rule to simplify each of these groupings. So the first, y cubed to the power of 1 half is the same as y to the power of 3 times 1 half. And the second is y to the power of 2 times 1 third. And now we can just multiply those exponents. So 3 times 1 half is a power of 3 halves. And 2 times 1 third is a power of 2 thirds. Now, since these both have the same base, y, we're going to use the product rule for exponents, which says you keep the base and you add those exponents together. Well, these exponents are fractions, and the only way to add a fraction is for them to have a common denominator. So on the side, I'm going to do the math for those fractions. So I have 3 halves plus 2 thirds. The common denominator between 2 and 3 is 6. So 2 times what got us to a denominator of 6? 2 times 3. So we multiply the numerator by 3 as well. So 3 times 3, we get 9 6 for that first fraction. And then our second fraction, 3 times what gives us 6? 3 times 2. So we multiply the numerator by 2, and we get 4 6. And 9 6 plus 4 6, remember you keep the denominator and add the numerators. So 13 6. So our new exponent here is y to the power of 13 6. And that is a rational exponent. So this is our final answer, y to the 13 6th. 